I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Good for you. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh. Well, good. But I am tempted to seriously hurt you. Just for something to do. Come on, please. Take it easy. I ain't serious. This really ain't funny. <laughs> what now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> mm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. When he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Just up here. Easy now. <laughs> Whoa. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. I didn't mean to crouch. Okay. Found anything? Cigar. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? I 
don't want to read that. What do you think? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. Before they get too far ahead. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down... Lonnie to get Sean after the bar fight? I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Yeah. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What are you doing? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? No. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come here. Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Braithwaite's. Literally the Romeo and Juliet okay? story. I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. 
He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Easy. Ah, let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brothers! Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. One more, Charles. Over there, where the birds are. Dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far.
Everton. He's around here somewhere. Keep looking, Arthur. He must be close. Whoa. He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Ooh. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see. How badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. He was dead. I didn't want to pick him up. Ew. Alright, now let's go. Can we just get Trelawney and go? Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. 
I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? But you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm. This ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I ain't doing this myself. Come back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. Digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy, ain't no one around. Just... You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on, I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Uh, 
I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, ah. bastard. Come on. Let's go, mister. This hole's dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What'd you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That's more than, than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> uh, you knocked me into the grave. Can I dig her back up? Can I do a good deed and dig her back up?
Long time, boy. You got some place I can take you? Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. I'm still trying to find out like how to put this back in the horse. Oh, there we go. Finally, found out how to do it. I don't want to walk in there with two rifles on my back. Dang. Is everything all right, sir? I don't even know who said that, but yeah. to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Upon, I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. I pull it clean out of his ass, the smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah. You 
using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not only thinking as hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right feller for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Them Greys, English. Excuse me. You not worried about them Greys? Dang it! Hang on. Headset's dying. First person. Anywhere here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. Easy. What you want, boy? I've, I've. There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> Before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. 
Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Uh, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> By the plagues you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. While the average man subs... <coughs> <coughs> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Getting on. Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rain. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down a of houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Go on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
let you do it. Or give this a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! Would you look at that? Yes! Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You pay for that! Say he got the red head. <laughs> This is a cool mission. I like this. This is why I love this game. Never disappoints. Just when you think you've seen it all in this game, it just comes out with something new. Awesome. Let's go. They seem to be taking a while. This is a goddamn mess. Didn't tell me nothing. 
one out for now. Just because I want to. <laughs> You jumped over that head, you didn't even have to, you can just walk right through it. I wish they would keep burning. Dang, look at that though. I like the music. Just put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are riding that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah, I'll come. Sure. Because all the missions are at camp, so might as well. Well, we have a new horse. I need a shave. Look at that beard. Dang, look at that beard though. And I think this could go up plenty more levels. I don't want to grow it out that much. I'm starting to look like Uncle. <laughs> I don't want to look like Uncle.
It'd be cool though, like more attention to detail, so you could like look in the direction of the place and see like smoke and um Maybe this whole like fogginess is because of it. Oh no, that's just because it's morning. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Oh yes, okay. So I didn't have time to sleep because of that mission. I guess still sleep like any time of day, but nah. I'll just drink coffee instead. And I'll just eat some baked beans for my health. All right, Micah. What kind of mission am I doing you? Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parlay? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take it. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed the woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> This lighting is awesome. The smoke, it doesn't look like misty smoke. I guess it could be. But what if it's because you know, of the fire we just started? I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. 
We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah. Look out! <laughs> oh my god. I'm saving that. I'm saving that clip. Jeez, dude, and my horse is like all beat up. Oh, my horse's health is really low. I'm feeding you. Easy, boy, you're okay. Plus, the stamina is really low. Hang on, I need to feed my horse, guys. I'm feeding him. He needs health and stamina. Look at this course. Yeah, good boy. Come on, okay, let's go. Man, I miss my old horse. Why'd I have to get ran over by a train, man? Ah! Be right back, everyone.
have to resume the stream in a bit. I'm just gonna have the same title on it. I'm just gonna keep it paused here, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat and watch some Netflix uh, really quick while I eat, and then I come back and continue here just on a different stream. I'm gonna have the same title of the same stream now, just because I don't feel like renaming for something such a short stream. So, yeah. <laughs> 